Uh, all right, next up, uh, we got somebody that's come to us from Connecticut. He's organized a beat festival two years in a row in Connecticut. Brought in people from 50 states last year. He also has a great gig that he does from time to time in uh, New Haven. What's the name of that place? Cafe Nine. The Cafe Nine. It's a great beat place uh, up, up in uh, Connecticut. Please welcome, really, super guy, great friend, Yvonne Corrier. So this is stage time. We have to project the voice. Forget about the microphone. Now, this one I, I actually wrote in response to something uh, our good friend George Wallace wrote. He said, that's you, kid. And the poem spoke to me. And I had to do a dedication to all of us who slumber through life and are trying to get cash to live, right? But we want to write. That don't pay the bills, so we still do it. So obviously we're either nuts or we love what we do. Uh, this one's called How and G for George. This is a how for the now and the universal you of the you and us universe, because there's no spotlight like the great wave goodbye as the world slides round and you move to the next wheel beyond bleached bunker roads while the next bowback tractor trail reels ahead with mysterious load tarped down to deliver the arc of street commandments in the holy concrete night of moonlit rooftops and gray halos of gone truck stops, of kit cans and love of Buddha, the anonymous sage of word DNA in the techno millennium, passing on the secret stories of basement druids. For this time to remember the foggy-headed bright Vishnu visions, oh, yeah. still waiting to break free in this forgetful tribal breakdown, others would call scattered humanity. Yet you're all too human, shot in the beer, with a side of pen and naked ink will glow beyond the time. As forever song line from curbstone coffee cups, tipped blowing choruses, while David Amram composes enlightenment choruses, the peaceful warrior chant of planetary balance. Oh yeah. Laying out the blessed blues parade, announcing your ar passing arrival with ours, blowing blues of joy for the dumb saint scribes who blow with sacred music of diamond dust ink for all. Wow, Now, thank you. There's a place right down, I live in West Haven, so the train rolls through there all the time and you can't count on sleep, so let's forget about sleep. But I happened to be in my delirious state driving by a house that's yellow, and I saw this, and I promise you, I didn't take peyote, though I might want to, but I didn't at the time. Uh, it's called yellow paint. Canary sunset on white sand stolen from the goddess of a tropical island. Mango banana light layered on this abode layers brushed by many hands. Silence exudes from this lemon surface with empty windows wide. Split clapboard showing bottomless slits where paint never hid. Pillows untouched on an empty bed, a chimney with no smoke. From a train stop where trains never stop. A porter with memories of that same house when it was blue, a tale told of raw rum, smoky light, slurred notes, and mason jar gin sipped through sloppy grins. Oh, yeah. Gumbo perfumes intoxicated minds and hearts with a thirst and spiritual lust. Candles dwindle while lovers kindle. And all before dawn, having to run out back to not get shot, leaving the sugar shack. As lemonade, gin, fizz spilled down the steps. A frame matting with three spotted feathers on a wall in the back hall hung from a hunting trip to commemorate this as a train stop. No new soul will ever know the three feather ceremony, the juke joint scramble, the porter whose mind rambled reminiscing of brighter times from blue days, or the brightest outside concealing the darkest brilliance inside. These were exceptional moments of impermanence. As birds inflected, clarinet warble and throaty rattled speech, the train whistle blows and shakes the earth, the shack a clamor as the metro north rolls on. Crack as a clay riverbed, a yellow once risen, soaked into hungry walls where amber tints remain. 
By night, the Milwaukee Special rests in stockyards of Mexico. Only its ghost light steams past this quiet cobalt friend, this now hollow sunflower dwelling in the forever night. Oh, yeah. Right now, we're going to go with Cafe Night since he had to mention it. It's Saturday afternoon, and it's well afternoon, and the Mockingbirds jazz band is setting up late. They're celebrating James Velvet's 39th birthday with fans and unknown walk-in listeners. I'm one of them. Where else would a player want to celebrate his birthday except at a gig and on stage playing what he likes to play? Empty bottles, beer bottles, and full liquor bottles frame the back wall. A saxophone top is capped up behind the cork sherry bottle pointing to Cafe Nine in red neon with its inextricable companion of blue neon g -clef. Flags, trophies, and many microphones stacked atop the wine glass shelf. Wooden bust of Old Man Buddha, or maybe replica of New Orleans crew float gone by. Geronimo peeks out at the regulars. Good old Jack looks off into his golden eternity, next to a Faustian Gretchen in relaxed relief. Her companion is outside her vignette, nine on top, and painted wide folk pillow faces, playing flute, sax, and violin. Clock on the right to keep time. More microphones of old performing lore gone by. Below, bottles slide and tug feeding regulars beer. Kenny Eldridge beats his soul into the kit, dancing like Roach's soul did, like Krupa did, and at his own finest hour. Big Bang Throb is straight ahead to the ears of his audience. Tinkle, tinkle, tink, and the band song intro, Kinda Blue, is on. Elijah on the keys runs his trill like phantom notes of Hancock Quintet days. Elijah even asks for a clipboard to invite other players to come up and sing. If you've got something to play, something to sing, or something to say, sign up and you'll be next. New song on the new man took the cue and is standing in, plucking riffs on guitar, leaning back and sucking in the bass while Aldrich locks some space for all to play on and dance on and their form in the sky. New song, a new man takes the cue and is standing in, plucking riffs on guitar, leaning back and sucking in the bass again, segments of interlude, and no member of the crowd needs a cue when to give a clip, clap, clop. No one wants to disturb this musical moment. Whistles jeer them on in a hesitance like modals in space of kind of blue, waiting for that moment to jump the ride when the bass said its say. Now, girl from Ipanema and blues variation with a miles feel. All the players from the local area mill in, and those who knew the hummingbirds, who were going to be there, are slipping in on the vibe that reached the musicians beyond Cafe Nine's doors. A man with his amp and sack guitar is ready to strut his talent among the flock of fellow lovers of sound, foot stomping to the solo bass while guitar is thumping like percussion and bass. Another has his case brain stick and he's still back in the audience wanting to play but he can't. Slide trombone player runs scales into his mute on the sideline to get his chops ready for the show. Cousin Slide pulls his brass imagining music jump from his horn paint this smoky room blue as he gazes on in the background contemplating the sound. Yes! Closing piece. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, we happen to be at uh, a place in New Haven. Uh, well, it's another dive bar that I like to go to. And I thought about Coltrane for some reason. So, you know, the last thing he said before he, 10 years before he died, he, said, he was asked, well, what do you want to do with the next few years of your life? I want to try my hardest to become a saint. So this piece is dedicated to him in that regard. It's called Coltrane View. See the world through Coltrane lens. Staccato note split, blues mood flow. I want to be a saint before this ends, before I go. Wow.